College of Aeronautics uh, uh, Institute of Technology was looking for a, a fitter that was experienced on the jet stream. So I came, had an interview and, and stayed here for 40 years. On the day that the aircraft flew, it was flown by Angus McVitie on the first flight, but it was also flown by Neil, Neil Williams. Um, many, I don't think anybody knows what Neil did with the aeroplane on that first flight, uh, because he was the aerobatic expert. But um, when he got back on the ground, we soon realised that the aeroplane was underpowered and there had to be lots of changes. So. Um, I was delegated as an engineer, or a fitter at the time, to be involved in uh, all the modifications associated with the airframe because everybody else had got other work to get on with. So I worked on the aeroplane on my own for quite some time. There was one particular day that, that, that the aeroplane was being demonstrated by, by Angus McVitie. And, um, and he was demonstrating the aeroplane to um, some people with um, cameras and, and, and movie cameras and they were positioned on top of the control tower and, um, and some of the flying that Angus was doing um, was, was, was extremely good flying um, but I just at the time I just got a little bit uneasy it got very close to the ground at a couple of occasions and I just thought um, I'm going to go back into the hangar. Just to be involved in, in first offs is a unique type of aviation. Um, it's not just about doing the same thing day in day out. Every day is different. The staff were so diversified in what they were capable of doing. They were so skilled and the atmosphere, the, the friendliness, I, I, I couldn't wish for anything better. Mm -hmm.